All right, our Saturday was a bit gloomy then by the mid to late afternoon. Our skies were really starting to open up around Central Florida. We've got to get to meteorologist Alex Alisi. He's preparing you for the possibility of some isolated flooding tonight. And Alex, you're tracking the tropics. So is the soggy evening ahead tied to that activity? Yeah, it's all tied together. We have a couple of different disturbances that we're watching. You see gamma right here. Top store gamma spraying us with some moisture. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Quick look at these two areas. About a 10% chance in the next five days that that wave would develop, but it's going to encounter some upper level winds out tear it apart so low chances there same with this there's some slow development possible with that wave but again as we get later on into the week we'll see some upper level winds that should shear it apart take a look at this one though this has a 60 percent chance over the next five days as it works its way towards where tropical storm gamma originated from it could become a tropical depression as we go into next week something to watch tropical storm gamma winds at 65 miles per hour right now pretty much on top of cancun it's going to linger around it's moving pretty slowly out of the northwest at eight miles per hour according to the five o'clock advisory you can see by Sunday afternoon still pretty much right on top of the peninsula there by Monday afternoon still 50 mile per hour winds before it starts to make that uh, westerly movement and by Thursday 2 o'clock in the afternoon should be uh, around there in the Gulf. So we'll be watching that but for us here at home here's what it looks like with the water vapor. It's going to continue to build in that tropical moisture as a warm front continues to lift its way in from the south. So again for us it means steady rain some torrential downpours uh, isolated as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow and that's why most of us are under a flood watch until tomorrow night. Take a look. Steady rain now building its way in. The heaviest of the rain still in southern Osceola County near Yuha Junction or towards Keenansville. Mike Miko also dealing with some heavier showers. Everything again generally working its way slowly from the south up to the north. Temperatures pretty steady, a little cooler. 74 degrees right now in Orlando, 77 Leesburg, 78 degrees in the villages to land at 73. And as we go through this evening, those scattered downpours, steady showers, and a widespread rain. It's going to be sticking with us. It's going to be a little gloomy out there tonight. Here's 7 o'clock. Notice the heavy rain it continues to build in from the south. Widespread green there. Some isolated spots of that yellow showing those more moderate showers as we go towards 11. As we go through the overnight hours, the heavy downpours, they should start to wane. Only isolated chance for that. But as we get into 9 o'clock in the morning, those isolated downpours move right back on in. And by noon, we'll see the heaviest of the rain lifting slowly from the south up to the north. And by 6 o'clock, still dealing with those steady showers. It's going to be a pretty gloomy Sunday by 10 o'clock, still dealing with the light rain. So not a bad day to stay inside and watch some movies. 73 degrees by 7 o'clock in the morning will warm slowly up to about 78 by noon. Again, rain chances quite high as we head towards the afternoon and temperatures staying right around the upper 70s and low 80s. Expecting a high of 80 in Orlando, 77 for the high in Leesburg in the villages, 78 to land, expecting 79 in Sanford. Over the next seven days, again, this weekend turned out to be a little gloomy as that front lifts its way up. 85 degrees on Monday, though. We'll see 40% uh, scattered showers and storms. Tuesday, we'll see more widespread rain as we go through next week. Just tracking about a 40 to 50% coverage of showers. Highs warming right back into the upper 80s.